Carol Smith, and this is my daughter Renee. Hi. Glad to be here. Well, it's going to be a great time today. It sure is. You know, we're a Gallery Glass family. In fact, we've got together about 20 years experience with Gallery Glass, and we're going to teach it all to you today. You know, Gallery Glass is a great hobby. You can have a lot of fun with it in your family. And when you get through with this easy, fast technique, you're going to have something that looks very special. These two pieces of stained glass look alike, but they're not. One was made the conventional way and took probably months. The other is gallery glass, and you can do it in just one weekend. I'm going to show you how easy that technique is, and Renee's going to help me. We're going to start with a beginner level project. This is a ready to paint sun catcher that Gallery Glass makes and these are the florals. In the kit you have several parts. You have the paint and it's numbered on top. You have the color key so you can paint by number and you have the pieces. Now the pieces are outlined and they have beautiful gold stamping on them. You also have a tool that you can use to paint with and Renee's going to show us exactly how we do that. Can also these are yeah, now this one has a, uh, that round part in the center is molded like a jewel. And each of the pieces in the Gallery Glass Suncatcher line have that. Now Renee is using the tool to spoon in the blue paint. The tool that comes in the kit. Yes, and this, she is painting up to an imaginary line. It's actually a dotted line on the pattern. And then she will put in some white paint. Now, at home you will have one tool and you can wipe that off in between, but we're trying to save time here, so I've given her two. I'm just going to use the end of the spoon to spread the paint around, and then I'm going to use the other end to comb the paint and mix it in between. Now, this is going to do something very special, and I'll show you the finished one. As she uh, is putting the paint on, it looks very opaque. But when it dries, it looks transparent. In fact, I'll turn it up here and show you that you can see it, see my finger through it. So it's the only paint of its kind. Regular acrylic paint will not do this. Now, also, there is another technique that we use a lot. What is that? The combing. I'm using just a toothpick for this. And that'll give me a finer texture. Yeah, that's if so you have bubbles. Tip huh? point. Mm -hmm. Or I can use a nut pick, which